hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to do a easy two-step smoky eye and a full look only using drugstore this product. is more of a lengthy step-by-step -step video because I really want to break down how to accomplish a full look um, so stick around if you want to see how to get this look I'm gonna base my eye with a uh, NYX base just over the lid like this. I'm gonna use the NYX duo stick to shape my brows with the lighter color. After that, I'm going to pull down. After I shape them, I'm going to blend it in using a Real Techniques dupe for the Beauty Blender. going to do my eyeshadow which is supposed to be my two-step uh, smoky eye I'm going to use this brown right here which palette is this this is the dust till dawn palette from NYX and I'm going to use this color blended with this color I'm going to do a light smoky eye because I feel like when you start doing a smoky eye you shouldn't go all the way black because it really does frighten you and it's hard to kind of like see the vision if you're not comfortable doing a smoky eye so then you just kind of quit and go your no shadow way I'm going to start by using this color first and I'm going to literally pat heavy down on the bottom base of my lid Now, some shadows that are darker have fallout, and it's usually going to fall out down to here. Don't worry about that. You can clean it up, and if it really gets to be too much, just pat it like this on whatever you use for your makeup, and then continue layering, layering it on your lid. When you've layered it on heavy enough, I'm going to add just a little bit more to this eye. I really want it to, to keep my smoky eye very centered to the base of my eye. I don't want to carry it up too much. So that's why I'm going to take a little bit of this color. And I'm going to lightly just over the top blend. Blend that color all the way in. Blend it in, blend it in. And blend downwards instead of upwards so it can kind of stay localized to where you want your smoky eye to be. And there you have it, a smoky eye using two steps, only drugstore products. For my foundation, I'll be using Fit Me Matte and Poreless number 338 I'm trying a new color I got this at Target so Target has a full range and so does Walgreens of these colors foundation can kind of spread evenly easier and I'm going to just get it through my face I tend to apply my foundation a little bit heavier on my forehead because I have heavy dark circles there. So just to cover it up, I just kind of pat it on instead of smear it so it can actually sit on my forehead before I use my Beauty Blender Sponge Dupe from Real Techniques to 
blend it in completely. The Maybelline Master Concealer mixed with the NYX Duo that I just showed you a second ago. Uh, this is my first time trying Master Concealer, so I'll also review it for you to let you know if it's really good. I really wanted to try it. I've seen a lot about it, so why don't we just have a mini review right now? But, I digress. I'm using the color Medium Deep, so I'm going to spread a little bit on each side of my eye. I'm going to do three dots each side. A little bit lighter than what the packaging looks like and I kind of hate that because it's like you know it's like a trick so that means I would have to go a shade darker to get the color that I actually want and it's a little bit more white based and I like more yellow based concealers but off top other than that the creaminess of it just touching my face seems really nice so let's blend it in and see if it's like cakey okay so just based on those three dots uh, with this concealer using two dots is more than enough. I'm going to use the other side of my brush to kind of pull it out because I need it to lighten up a little bit. It's really heavy. So that's good. It actually does exactly what it's going to say it's going to do. It's super creamy. It's super thick. So less is more when it comes to this uh, concealer. the next step I'm going to let my setting powder from true radiance in colors uh, it doesn't give me the name of the color in sculpt to get this yellow base that I used for my setting powder I just bought a lighter color from the true radiance palettes so I can stick to the drug store theme and it actually worked really well I love the way it stuck to my face and it was so close to my uh, Sasha Cosmetics setting powder that it's almost a dupe I think I used medium to light it will be in the drop box below using the same true radiance except for I switched to uh, medium to dark so I can get the proper color to contour my face so we're gonna get it right in here a little bit Oh, blend it all the way up guys don't forget to fully blend you don't want to be looking crazy in these streets let's get this way what you see me doing right now is uh, applying the rest of my contour onto my face on the top of my forehead sides of my chin sides of my nose I just sped it up because um, this video is about a smoky eye look and I'm just trying to show you how to do a quick face to match it. Now I'm going to use a black radiance powder. To even out my whole face and help blend it in. Moving on to the next step, I'm going to add my blush, which is going to be a bronzer from the Queen Collection. I use this a lot. After that, I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk Goddess Highlight.
again. Now I'm going to grab my NYX Dust to Dawn palette again. I'm going to take the darkest color that I use and I'm going to use it as a smudge. Bring it from the corner in so your smoky eye can kind of round itself out. You don't have to bring it all the way to the corner, just bring it to about the middle. Just like you see me doing here. Because it's a smoky eye, a lot of leave out will be already underneath your eye. Especially after you clean up and add concealer and stuff, you'll have a little bit. So you're not adding too much, just a, a little bit of a touch up. Just to kind of bring your look together. Because you haven't done mascara yet, you haven't added lashes and all that stuff. So you want to make sure you do that. Now I'm going to take my, now I'm going to take my middle finger and I'm going to take this cream color right here and I'm going to apply it to the corners of my eye. just like that so applying my mascara I do a thick coat over the top and bottom of my eye to make it a sense Especially if you're not using lashes, it's really important to make sure you do really coat it to give it the illusion of a full flat eye. So my eyebrows are a little bit more defined because I haven't done my brows yet. I do them once a month because you know, you remember my ordeal when the lady got real with me and tried me. So now I'm having to start from the begin ten of the brow game so they're a little bit thicker which is the way I like them I just need to get them shaped up and by my next video they should be on fleek so right now we're just gonna keep the overdefined brow okay don't judge me my brows be bomb 99% of the time now I'm gonna show you how to do a perfect nude lip. I'm gonna get closer for this so you can really see me work so I like my lips to be very full so I I do my lip line very close to the edge of my lip now for my lips I'm going to use Sandstorm, I just talked about it the other day from NYX Liquid Suede and London from NYX Soft Matte. Excuse me, my God. Soft Matte Lip Cream in Colors London. So I'm going to go over the whole lip. First, we're going to apply liquid suede and sandstorm all over the lip, even over the lip line. Make sure you apply it evenly before adding the next color. Which mine is, and then I'm going to take the soft matte lip cream. And I'm just going to base it towards the center of my lips. Before my lip sway dries, I'm going to even out the upper lip, nice and well mixed, and then I'm going to even out my lower lip. So there you have it. I just gave you a semi-natural smoky eye with a nude lip, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to give you the look up close so you can see how it turned out.
I hope this video helps you ladies out there trying to accomplish smoky eyes but are afraid to try things or didn't know how to properly apply it. I hope my two steps were easy enough for you to get through and try this out on your own. Let me know if you have any questions. All the stuff I use will be found in the drop box below. And please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video. Um, follow me on all forms of social media. Me girl with the long name show, showing me your smoky eye looks. I really want to see them. So yeah. Yeah, till next time, ciao.